It is our blessed Lord who taught the Great Commission when he said, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And he promises us that he will be with us to the end of time. Today we will present unto the Lord Liam Kenneth Spatcher, and we will baptize him in the name of the Holy Trinity. <clears throat> Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Last Sunday we lit the candle of joy. We light it in the candles of hope and peace again as we remember that Jesus, born in Bethlehem, will come again to fulfill all of God's promises and bring us everlasting peace and joy. Today we light the fourth candle of Advent, the candle of love, when the angel Gabriel told Mary that a special child would be born to her, she was filled with love and joy. She sang a song that began with the words, my soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, just as the birth of Jesus gave great love and joy to his mother, so his presence in the world gave love and joy to those who had none before. He healed them and gave them hope and peace when they believed in him. From hope, peace, and love and joy, we light the candle of love to remind us that when Jesus is born in us, we have joy, and that through him, there will be an everlasting joy on earth. Love and joy is like a shining, light shining in a dark place. As we look at this candle, we celebrate the love and joy we find in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the joy you give us. We ask that as we wait for all your promises to come true and for Christ to come again, that he would remain present with us. Help us today and every day to worship you to hear your word and to do your will by sharing your joy with each other. We ask this in the name of the one who was born in Bethlehem. Amen. We are one in the bond of love. Son and of the Holy Spirit. We will go to the altar of God. Our help 
is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. To all our guests, you are invited to come to the blessed altar and receive the body and the blood of Jesus. The only thing that we ask is that in your heart that you believe that what you are receiving is not just bread and wine, but the consecrated body and blood of Jesus Christ, whoever is before us. And now let us make an examination of our conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God, let us recite together the second form of the act of confession as found on page 16 of the Mass Service booklets. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed. By my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrata, too small to be among the clans of Judah. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Gracious Father, speak your precious word to us, that we may celebrate the coming of your Son with love and joy. He has come, he is in our midst, and we will come again to hear, hear him. We offer special prayers this day for one of your children, Father, for Liam Kenneth Thatcher, Bless him with your presence, and let him know that you are ever before him. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah.
Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord. In the majestic name of the Lord, his God, and they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O Shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rouse your power, and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see, take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, may it to you, let us and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. The second reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delight in it. <clears throat> These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord, his God. Alleluia, alleluia. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. 
And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
serve you makes your church. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Almighty, everlasting God, whose only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, had shed his blood for the cleansing of all humanity from the stain of sin, and commanded his disciples to teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grant, we ask you that this child, Liam Kenneth Spatchen, desiring the baptism of Christ, may through this holy sacrament become a child of God, an heir to your kingdom, and an active member of the Christian church. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who shall come to judge the living and the dead. Amen. Affect him. Be thou open, and hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Affect him. Be thou open, and hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Confess the name of Christ before all people, and he shall acknowledge you before his heavenly Father. And now speaking on behalf of Liam Kenneth Spatcher, do you renounce all evil? I do. And all evil works, I do renounce them. And all pomp, lies, and hypocrisies, I do renounce them. I anoint you with the oil of salvation in Christ Jesus, our Lord, that you may have everlasting life. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was born and who suffered for us? I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do believe. Liam Kenneth Spatcher, will you be baptized? I will. Strengthen and anoint you 
with the chrism of salvation and the life everlasting. Amen. Peace be unto you and also with you. Receive this white garment of innocence and bear it without stain before the judgment seat of Almighty God that you may have life everlasting. May the light of Christ's holy gospel illuminate your way of life. Keep and deep us respect this holy baptism, which has united you with Jesus Christ, made you a part of his holy church, and brought you into the communion of saints. Observe the commandments of God, that when our Lord shall return in glory, you may meet him together with all the saints in the heavenly court, and live forever. Amen. Liam Kenneth Spatcher, go in peace, and the pe may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. That's it. Hi, honey. Thank you. You know, when I came and had the holy water and blessed all who gathered, that is more or less revisiting your own baptism because you were baptized in the living waters. And also, as we gather at the baptismal font and we partake of this holy ritual, in many ways, these were the words that were spoken when you were baptized. So, I thank you. May God bless Liam Kenneth Spatcher and his family and all of you. Please be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners.
Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor on earth and you see for us in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we set before you bread and wine in which we offer ourselves to you and through which you give your Son to us. Help us to grow in your service that we may be worthy to offer a home for Jesus Christ. We ask this in the same, Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do these things, do them in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ your Son and Lord in this blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we your servants and faithful people offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of eternal salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and following the divine example, we say with confidence,
present and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please be seated. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of the body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in us a living faith fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely, entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise of I call upon the name of the Lord, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord,
Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. I welcome all of you to church on this special day in which we presented unto the Lord Liam Kenneth Spatcher. Um, my people have gotten a break. Today, I'm not offering a sermon. So, I don't know what I could have said that would improve upon what took place at the baptismal font as we brought into church and made Liam Kenneth Spatcher a member of his holy church. I bring to mind some of the announcements. Uh, after Mass, I'm going to ask for the men and women of my parish uh, to help as we will be preparing for uh, Christmas. Uh, tomorrow will be Christmas Eve. Uh, tomorrow, Monday, um, 9 o'clock, Holy Mass will be offered here. Most importantly, 10 o'clock p.m., uh, Christmas Eve services of what we know as Pastelka, or the Holy Mass of the Shepherds. The rest of the announcements are as they are listed in the back of the church. We have the Aquatic or the Christmas wafers. Also, there are parish envelopes. If you have not received yours as of yet, we see Sudabrinsi. And most importantly, through the graciousness and generosity of the Spatcher and the Gardner family, um, they are offering refreshments downstairs. Again, I want to thank you for participating. Are there any other announcements? Yes, Teresa. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know, um, and Bill and I were pretty astounded at the generosity okay. of the adopted family that we received. Teresa, I want to thank you for heading up the adopt a family. I got blown away when Bill pulled up with his big truck. I'm not talking about a little truck. And the entire bed was filled with gifts. Not only that, but the back seat. And I think also when we walked into the center over at Holy Family, you would not believe how generous people are at this time of the year. So it says in Holy Scripture, you know, it's not because we love God, but most importantly, because he loved us first and he gave us his son as a gift. And it is at this Christmas time, this holy time, that we remember others who are in need. And, and I thank all of our parishioners and our friends who made this effort so successful as well as so important. Also for all of those gifts of gloves and hats and monetary donations. I saw John Sizz uh, this past Tuesday and he was greatly appreciative. And I did talk with John and what I'd like to do is for not only myself but also our parish to work a lot closer to the veterans in need. So again, thank you. Uh, I extend an invitation if you're not doing anything uh, tomorrow night to uh, come and partake with our Christmas Eve services at 10 o'clock and also on Tuesday the Feast of the Nativity of our Lord Holy Mass will be celebrated at 9 o'clock again God bless and now let us offer a final prayer not only for Liam but also for all those who are in need as well as for our faithful departed In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.